Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, by now you might be getting a little bored. I know I do when I am studying something that I can't really make a whole lot out of. So now we're going to work on the post, get, and request. And these deal with user interaction. So the first thing we're going to want to do is end our PHP script and create a form. This is just basic HTML. And for the action, uh, we're just going to do index.php and the method is going to be post. The first thing we will do is learn how to post. Now I know I did this in tutorial one but I'll try to help you understand better. Um, let's do an input type equals text name equals name and we'll do a, let's just say a message and for this one we'll do a text area and lastly we'll need a submit button input type equals submit uh, value equals send message now this isn't actually going to send a message yet uh, because we I don't want to go too far into that but I'll show you what a post does. Post grabs a value from a form. So once again, we'll change this variable and say uh, check. Okay. So when we click this and you look at our URL, we have question check after it. And this is what you call a get variable which or uh, you can get it so do get um, it has no value though so let's say check equals one get check okay whoops and you see we can echo things from the URL uh, string and uh, if we want to put more values in there, you might do something like uh, and amp. Now, normally it's any variable after the question mark is an ampersand, but to make it valid, I'm typing and amp uh, valid HTML. And let's do um, just say I guess age. Okay. And so we'll submit that. Undefined index age. There we go. So we can take these URL parameters and pop them into the page. Those are using get. Now you can also use request. Actually, I didn't mention this, but notice the underscore before it. That means it's a super global. Anyways, request. Uh, it does the same thing. Now request is a little interesting because request is like post and get combined. It can do either or. So if we, I'll try to show you. Let's just make sure that this form uh, is being checked. So if get check equals one then we'll process our form. The reason we want to do this is because if someone lands on the page here um, we'll get an undefined index after we post it and you can see we have one here so what we want to do is if is set get check okay there's the warning message gone away and what we want to do now is post the form and we can do post and the name is name now you'll notice these brackets look pretty familiar uh, when you're working with an array because it is an array and then we'll do post message okay 
so we'll echo the name and the message. There it is. Now, what if we put request for this? It does the same thing because request behaves as both get and post. So I suppose it's up to you. Request seems kind of like a, a fallback if you're not totally sure which one to use maybe. Uh, most of the time I use request when I'm getting a URL parameter. Um, now things to consider. What if someone typed in Jesse Bulls Hay? See, it, it puts in the HTML, so there's a couple of functions you can do. Uh, one is strip tags. I think it's like that off the top of my head. There we go, and that gets rid of the HTML. Uh, there's also one called HTML uh, entities, and that will turn that HTML entities, maybe there's no underscore. There we go. HTML entities, and that will print it out as uh, the HTML entity code, which is. Well, I'm not sure why that's doing that. It'll just print that out. Well, I suppose this is, uh, there wasn't as much to cover as I thought, so. You can play around with that a little bit and get good at making forms. Uh, one thing to always remember is that user data should never be trusted. And that's nothing personal against the user. It's just for your software's own well-being. Uh, perhaps I'll go into that a little later. Uh, but we haven't dealt with uh, storing data or anything, so it's probably not necessary right now. Alright, good luck.